Did you know that Poles have different verbs to say I like something? We have different words to like food, to express aesthetic impressions, sexual attraction or general liking. And before you start panicking and asking why so many, I'll tell you that there are only two verbs to say I like, but the difference between them is so, sig so significant that knowing the difference may help you to avoid social misunderstanding. So I really recommend watching this episode so to know how to say I like something. Isn't it enough to use one word to say I like you, I like this video, oh nice t-shirt by the way, I like it. I must say no it isn't. And by providing you some examples, I hope I'll, I'll make it easier for you to understand. The difference may help you to express your thoughts uh, more precisely. Let's first deal with the verb lubić, which you've probably heard uh, if you've been learning Polish for a while. Lubić is for general liking, for, for example, for expressing that you like something as, as your hobby, or you like someone as a friend. For example, Lubię uczyć się polskiego. Lubisz uczyć się polskiego? On nie lubi muzyki disco polo. Or Lubisz Kasię, prawda? Ona jest fajną osobą. Co robisz w wolnym czasie? Jeśli mam chwilę wolnego, to lubię nic nie robić. For those of you who like grammar and who want to know, the verb lubić in the positive form is always uh, always goes with piernik, accusative, and in the negative forms with genitive, to pełnić. But I'm not going to talk about the cases now, as I'm going, as I'm probably going to record a video about it in the future. But for now, uh, let's just deal with the meaning of the verb lubić. Okay, so for now, we know that the verb lubić is used to say that we like something in general. Whereas podobać się is used more um, in more specific contexts. We use it when we want to say that we like this particular, this particular situation, place or object. For example, podoba mi się to miejsce. Chciałabym tu mieszkać. Podoba mi się to miejsce. Chciałabym tu mieszkać. Or nie podoba mi się ten film. Jest zbyt brutalny. Nie podoba mi się ten film. Jest zbyt brutalny. When it comes to grammar, without going into details, podobać się goes with celownik, with the pronouns uh, in celownik, like mi, ci, mu, jej, mu, and the plural forms nam, wam, im. And this verb changes according to um, a noun we are describing. If it's a singular thing, one thing, or there is, this is a noun in plural form. So for example, when we say something about one place, we say podoba mi się to miejsce. But when I'm talking, for example, about buildings, so it's in plural, I would say podobają mi się te budynki because budynki are in plural so podobają we make it plural the, the verb itself as well I hope it's clear to będzie wielka zmiana uwaga i jak o Boże o Boże no a mi się podoba podobać się? no w szkole co tak? tak 
So when we talk about people, we can also use the verb podobacha. But we need to be careful, really careful. Because here comes the significant difference between podobacha and lubit. We already know that if I say lubia Adama, to mój przyjaciel, I like Adam, he's my friend. I'm saying, yeah, I like him as a person. I, I, I think he's an interesting person. I like spending time with him. But, but if I say, podoba mi się Adam, or Adam mi się podoba, the word order is not so important in this case. I'm saying something like, I find, find him attractive. He's sexy. I fancy him. So this difference is huge. And it's not like I said before, like something in general and one specific moment or one specific situation, place or object. It's here mostly the difference is between liking someone in general as a person or liking someone sexually. So be careful. So this remark leads us to another conclusion. Podobać się is usually used when we talk about visual attraction to something. And we like what we see. For example, podobasz mi się tej sukience. Podobasz mi się tej sukience. I like you in this dress. In this context, it doesn't have to be sexual. It doesn't have to express something like sexual attraction. But still, I'm saying that I like what I see. So this is a very important thing to remember. Podobać się, very often, not always, but usually, it means that we like what we see. Uh -huh. We like what we see. Wystrój bardzo mi się podoba. Jest taki e, ciepły, domowy, e, rozweselający. Obviously, if we say it in the negative form, it also describes that we uh, we see something and we assess it. And in this case, we don't like what we see. I can say, nie podoba mi się ten budynek. Jest brzydki. Nie podoba mi się ten budynek. Jest brzydki. I find this building ugly. I don't like it. Hmm? Yeah. So as we know so far, podobać się is used to uh, to say that we like a specific thing or place, or object, situation. But at the same time, we say that something is visually attractive. So how do we know what uh, someone really means? Sometimes um, a broader context is needed and we can't say exactly what someone meant by saying podobać się. But let's, let's have an example like this. Podoba nam się ten serial. Podoba nam się ten serial. It can mean that we like special effects or the editing. We like what we see, or it can mean that we like this particular TV series, or two things at the same time. But is it really important in this context? Maybe. Maybe sometimes we ask some extra questions to know. So, so this one is not so precise, <laughs> and we need to uh, bear it in mind. So to sum up, let's say that Lubić is for general liking, for general feelings. When you think about heart, that we like something, or we don't, so sometimes there's a lack of positive feelings, but still our heart tells us if we like or don't. Hmm? Here is the, the area is vast, hmm? the vast area of heart, okay? It's something more general. Whereas podobacie is mostly what we see and what we like mm, visually. And this is a narrower area, okay? So it's more specific. 
So I think I hope this division will help you to understand it better and just to remember how to use it. When you think about heart, general, and narrow sight, huh? what you see. I hope it helps. <laughs> Lubię, kiedy zwraca się na mnie uwagę. Hmm, podoba mi się. So I hope this hard eyes division will help you to use the these two verbs correctly. And there are some nuances which might be a little bit more complicated, but I think I'm going to make another video about about it. But for, for now, for the basic use of these verbs, it's, it's really enough to remember only these two rules. Heart and eyes. Vast and narrow. There is one exception, as it always needs to be, <laughs> I think, uh, which is when we talk about food. All right, food. Um, we can use the verb lubić with food. Uh, when we talk about something in general, of course, like nie lubię surowej ryby. Nie lubię surowej ryby. Or mój syn lubi frytki z ketchupem. Mój syn lubi frytki z ketchupem. So these two sentences just express general liking. Hmm? I like it or I don't. But, uh, here is a thing to remember, we cannot use the verb podobać się with food. Okay, we can, but only in very narrow context when we want to say that we like what we see on the plate. It's visually a um, nicely served dish, something like that. But I don't think many people talk about it. But when we want to talk about taste, about this one specific dish we're eating um, now, in general, when we when we need to use it, is the verb smakować. Smakować to taste to yeah to like something to like the taste of something. Oh, maybe that's the best description. So we can say, for example, smakuje mi to danie. Smakuje mi to danie. Yeah, really tastes good. It really tastes good. Or mm, nie smakuje mi ta zupa. Jest zasłona. Nie smakuje mi ta zupa. Jest zasłona. I don't like the soup. It's too salty. Hmm? So you see, when we talk about food. We have the verb lubić, but instead of podobać się, we have the verb smakować. And this is the thing, uh, which I wanted to call an exception. Okay, so that was it. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, that was the last thing to remember from this video. Jeśli podobał wam się ten odcinek, if you really like this uh, video, i lubicie mój kanał and you like my channel please subscribe and let me know uh, let me know in the comments what other topics you would like me to record uh, the videos about and i hope to see the next episode it's going to be soon as new year ca uh, came and of course i have some new year's uh, resolutions which is to post videos more often so um take care thank you once again for watching and do zobaczenia bye 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 yes nagrałam to ja nagrałam tak <laughs> nagrałam to uh, nie wiem co mam powiedzieć zapomniałam <laughs>